hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today this is my first fall tutorial i'm gonna be doing this chocolatey brown smoky eye and brown lips so if you want to see how to get this look please stay tuned okay so today we're gonna be using the jack and hill jacqueline hill palette um i'm really excited about it because i just got it so we're gonna be using this to achieve the look today i'm so excited so I want to start off with um, this color here and basically to achieve this I just went from the lightest brown and went to the darkest brown and that's just how I got it the look that I wanted because it's just it's easier that way you get the gradient effect easier that way so that's just how I do it and that's normally how I do start most things off as far as like the crease is concerned some kickback like on the actual shadows and I'm am taking it all the way in I'm not just keeping it like on the outer corner because I'm gonna reshape my whole eye because I have like small hooded eyes so that's how I do that and I like doing that with a smoky eye because it makes my eyes look bigger it looks pretty and all that jazz So the next color I'm going to take is going to be this brown over here, these two. And I'm going to do the lighter one and take that and crease. And it's just gradually, the more it goes down, the darker the colors will get, which makes it look blown out like faded oh what color it looks really really pretty i'm sure y'all know what i'm talking about And then I'm going to use that darker brown right next to it. And it has a red undertone. And I'm going to start putting this all over the lid. And I'm using the same brush that I used do it the first time. Oh my gosh, I don't like any of this. This 
this ring light is a lot. So I'm just going to put it on the lid on both sides. Like I said, the shadow has a lot of fallout, so you might want to. That's why I'm doing my eyes before my foundation because it'll fall out and it'll look. It's hard to get off because you can't. If you cover up dark with concealer, it doesn't like look fully colored and it, you can see the gray. It just looks ugly. and get that same color and really really pack it on the lid area the mobile lid area and most of these brushes are BH Cosmetics and Morphe And I'm low, I'm low key making this seem harder than it looks, but it's not as really easy. Then I'm gonna get an even denser brush and an even darker color, a darker brown. Even if you don't have this palette, you can still achieve this look. It's just a bunch of dark browns and light browns and browns with different undertones. So you could even make yourself a palette like this. Or maybe there's another palette that you already have. Just packing on that dark brown closer to the last line because it's the last shade of brown that we're going to use today. And I love doing this look. This is like the one of the easiest ones to do. So we're gonna break for the eyes really quick and prime the face. And I 
do blend it out right away because I do like it to sheer out a little bit. I don't really, I can't I have these like wrinkles under my eyes, these like slight wrinkles and the concealer will settle in there and I, I just, I don't like when that happens. So... set my face with like a mineral powder tip if you don't have don't want to spend the money on like the mac mineralized skin finish sephora has a mineral powder that i bought and i will be doing a affordable haul on that so stay tuned for that along with some other dupes and other products that i purchased but I got it because Alicia Ashley really likes it and once I realized that it was a mineral powder and I swatched it and it looked just like the MAC powder, I was like, oh yeah, it was only like $22. The back, the MAC powder is like 35 And if you don't want Fenty Beauty to be matte, use a mineralized powder. If you want it to be matte, use a matte powder. I've seen that work. I've tested that. So we're gonna go back in. Eyes, the again, so that it looks faded and connect. I always come up the lower lash line to the top. I just like the way that looks. I like the way it looks on the eye sheet. It looks good to me. It makes my eyes look bigger. And that's the goal here to squeeze. And my eyes look bigger because the eyes are relatively small. So excited because I'm almost done with the eyes. Just gonna clean, wipe this from the eye, and make sure you dust off your um, you tap off the excess, just to make sure your under eyes are good. And. We're gonna finish off the face. I'm gonna use this is the contour powder I use. This is the Becca. It's like face powder. It's not contour powder. And this is how I contour my face. 
this is what I use to contour my face with. And I don't go in the hollows of my cheeks. I go right above it. Um, because I have a round face. And... And this mist is really fine. It's kind of like an aerosol can. And I just fan that thing and make sure my edges not puffed up because they got wet. And to highlight, I'm going to use the Jacqueline Hill collab with Becca and Champagne. And I do go above my eyebrow and just go on my cheeks and just go in because it's all about the glow, especially when it's cold outside. You kind of want to look like glow within or whatever. And I also take a little bit of it, put it on my inner corner here. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. You're in the middle of me filming. I am. And that was my mom, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to finish off this mascara and lashes. I'm going to use Ardell Double Up Lashes. Now those ones, the ones particular that I have, they didn't really have a number. So they could be 206, they could be 207. I'm not really sure. And I'm prepping my real lashes with L'Oreal Telescopic. My teeny weeny. So I put my lashes on camera because I'm I don't have the hang of like putting them on, on camera just yet. So we're back for lips and I'm so excited for lips. I'm so excited for lips. So I picked up um the new Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills, one of the new matte lipsticks in the color Rust. And it was so brown. I've been looking for another brown lipstick. Oh my gosh, it's so new and so fresh. I'm so excited. So, 
I'm gonna use that in the NYX lip liner in the color Espresso. Now, Espresso is more of like a true brown, and then Brush has like this um, reddish kind of undertone. And I think they are gonna look so pretty together. Espresso is low key like my go to lip liner. Feel like that because they're not like rough or dry. Okay, and that's the finished look. Let me zoom out them. And that's the finished look. This is my first fall tutorial. Um and links to everything I use will be down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.